Okay, let's look at the positioning tab and check out grid visibility. These settings will only affect the way your grid is visible. They are not to be confused with the nudge and snap settings down here that are quite similar. You also have centimeters, millimeters and percentage in units. But down here is a different thing. This actually sets how the nudge is going to happen. Up here is just the visibility of the grid. So if I go to millimeters, you can see that now my grid represents millimeters and centimeters, it represents centimeters. If I have millimeter set and I go over ten, a 10 grid site, I get this message. When using millimeters, the maximum grid size is 10, reverting back to centimeters. It goes back to centimeters. You can't have more a grid size bigger than 10 when you're using millimeters. But you can still work with millimeters under nudge and snap. You can still use millimeters down here. Now let's look at these snap and center options. And what do they do? If I turn off snap, my grid is going to go down there. And actually, if we look at view all grids first, this will make more sense. View all grids just shows every single grid there is in ZBrush. For example, now I only have the bottom grid visible. If I press view all grids, I can see all the grids, X, Y, and Z grids. And if I unpress it, I go back to whatever I had before. So if I had two grids or no, no grid at all here, I would go back to that setting. If I press view all grids, I'll just snap this here. Now you can see what snap does. And if I make my grid size a bit smaller, just to see what's happening. So if both are unpressed, you get this result. If you press snap, it will snap to the objects in the scene. And if you press center, all grids will go to the center, to the zero position. So this can be quite handy when you're working with your nudge and snap functionality. 